Hey everybody, Nellie Mack with Sapphire Store Codes here where magic is always afoot and it is almost February so it is time for the monthly magical forecast and I kind of um, tweaked it a little this month. It's going to be a little different um, but um, we're just going to get right into this and see what's coming up in February and as I tuned in, um, the first thing I, I got was that we are going to be dancing with Jaffiel in February which kind of makes sense because he is the um, angel of the yellow ray. It's all about beauty. It's about bringing beauty into our lives, seeing our beauty, seeing the beauty in others and creativity, um, just creating beauty. So that's what I would encourage you to do um, in February is to really just reach out, like maybe find an invocation or prayer that you can use each day for Jophiel, um, light a yellow candle, put some citrine or some yellow calcite on your altar, light some incense to him. Um, also, when you're working with Jaffiel, you can also reach out to Lady Christine, which is his twin flame. Um, they're both very beautiful energy. <clears throat> and, um, <coughs> excuse me, it said, he said specifically creating beauty around you and acknowledging your own inner beauty. And he said that word acknowledging was very, very important. Think about acknowledging. So like someone has put in all the work and they're... I don't know, they're going to get a promotion at work. And they feel like they've been acknowledged. They feel like someone's seeing what they do. And that's what Jophiel really wants us to do this month, is acknowledge where you're at. Acknowledge the beauty. Acknowledge the divine in you. And so the focus for the month, I pulled some cards. So besides working with Jophiel is going to be, for one, is sobriety. It's about letting go of pushing forward um letting go of the things that are holding us back like addictions like addiction doesn't have to be drugs or alcohol i mean we could we're addicted to so many other things like um low self-worth or um negative remarks about ourselves. all of those things it's time to stop those it's time to step into that energy and allow um archangel Jophiel to help you kind of clear that energy out and start acknowledging the beauty start acknowledging your power then we also got child of the cosmos and this one is all about really tuning in and realizing that everything like the universe we look out at the universe we're like oh my god it's so beautiful it's so magical and i just oh i just might be a part of that well guess what you are you are a part of that you are the universe living inside of you all of your cells everything you need to start speaking to those cells and you start telling them i am going to reach out i'm going to grab my destiny i'm going to go forward with it this month and just go with it but you know even more than that is like tapping into that energy like the divine feminine is coming in strongly this year tap into that divine feminine tap into communication this is a huge huge year for communication not just how you're communicating with others but how are you communicating with yourself what are you telling yourself how are you building yourself up or how are you tearing yourself down so then i divided it up to, into months so i'm sorry weeks so week one in um in february is we're going to be dealing with some grief like specifically i want you to go ahead and tap into any grief that you are still processing because you see the back of this says my losses prove how deeply i have loved i'm gonna flip the script on that grief we're gonna go i no longer have to live in this grief i can say oh my gosh look how much i have loved look how much i have given and i can turn that grief into something else and let it go into the universe so also we're going to be healing the past as we're processing that grief and releasing it, I step into my future with strength and clarity. As we are releasing that grief actively, we're also going to be having clearer vision, clearer ideas about moving ahead. And we are, in essence, then healing the past. So then we're also, it says, far away places, get ready for new horizons. So I want you then, as you're processing that grief and you're releasing all of that old junk, to go ahead and start saying, oh my God, what's on the horizon for me? Like, what can I imagine? What can I dream? What can I bring in to make my reality better? And tap into your magic. Look at this. This is a beautiful mermaid with Merlin. And Merlin is so, so magical. He's everywhere, like everywhere you see something about Merlin. So I want you to find something magical to tap into this um, this month. Um, you know, like lighting a candle or burning some incense or just setting some intentions, putting out a crystal grid. Find some way to tap into your inner magic and get it going. So that's the first week of February. Now we have the second week. 
and we have soothing and patience coming through. There's nothing to do but wait. So this next week in February, the second week, it's going to be about telling yourself all is in divine timing. We're just going to chill out. We're going to chillax, right? Look at this, savoring pleasure. Look at this, doing all these self-care things. Um, eating some chocolate. This is, I fully embrace bliss in my life. This is going to be a week of self-care for us as the collective. Then this says, crossing bridges. It's time for healing, connecting, mending, and releasing. So as you are, then, um, like, so you've processed a lot of grief. Now, this, this next week in February the 2nd, you're going to be, like, crossing over a bridge into another place, a new place, a magical place, where you've done all that work and now look what you're coming over here getting ready for something new this is also the week to dive deep i don't know that screen keeps flopping off of here um let me close my computer maybe that'll make a difference no it's my own screen anyway um going deep inside as you're doing this like soaking in the tub and like okay okay how am i going to honor myself what am i going to dig deep and what am i going to find out about myself how can i build myself up this time and that's the second week. And the third week, <clears throat> we're going to be expressing free will. This says, my choices determine how brightly I shine. What are you going to do? What are you going to do to put out there for your destiny? Because as we move into the next card, it says, awakening ancient wisdom. This is my deep inner knowing is emerging within me. So we've done the work the first week. We're crossing that bridge the second week. And we're coming into some strong ancient wisdom and inner knowing is kind of coming up to the surface because we've been doing the clearing and we're making space for it, right? So we're going to start saying, okay, how am I going to express myself? And what am I going to say? And that knowledge is going to start coming up and it's going to start bubbling and you're going to feel like you've got to start sharing it. Distant thunder, clear the air. Okay, so as you're like integrating all this and bringing this out, what do you need to say? What do you need to say to people to either establish your boundaries or just share this wisdom that's bubbling up? Because if you hold it in, it's going to start feeling, you're going to start feeling a little sick maybe. It's time to let it out, to get out there. And as you're doing this, remember that you might need a little extra solitude. Like, you know, we had the self-care the week before. But as this um, this energy, this new ancient wisdom is emerging, you're going to have to spend some time in solitude to like integrate it and to bring it forth like with automatic writing or just, you know, like channeling and knowing what's coming through so that you can share it with people. And then lastly, for the last week of February, we have got honoring adversity. A fire reveals a path of renewed direction once the burning is complete. So you're working all the way up to here, right? And it's bam, it's like, okay, I can look back. I can see everything that's happened to me in my life or even just that I've processed in the last month. And it is all burning away. And I am now seeing that it has made me who I am. It has made me powerful. I'm learning to go deeply inside and I'm learning to trust myself and my intuition. Rising above. I see only beauty and grace, which is beautiful that we'll be working with, um, with Jaffiel, who is the angel of beauty. So I'm going to like, I'm going to like come out of all this. The fire is burning everything away and I'm rising above that. And I am only seeing beauty and grace all about myself. It's all beauty and grace. That can just be your mantra this month. All beauty and grace. Narrow pathway. Tread thoughtfully. So you're going to start having some paths ahead, like opportunities and things like that. Things are going to start clicking and making sense. But you're still asked to just go slow. Like, let's not push ahead. Let's not try and make everything happen. We're going to just say, okay, I have narrowed everything down. Like, I've done the work and I'm, I've got a narrow spot in front of me. I'm going to walk that path. It's very focused. It's very clear. And I'm going to just walk that path. I'm not going to go off into other stuff and go, oh my gosh, what about this? What? No, I'm going to stay focused. I'm going to walk that narrow path the last um, week of February just to make sure that I'm making great decisions and that I'm listening with my, you know, like my heart and my mind connected. We're not going to like separate them. We're going to bring all that into focus as we're processing everything this month. Lastly, the innocence card. This is popping up a lot this year. Innocence. What's that about? That's about the fact that in every situation, no matter what it is, even if you had an abuser or there was trauma, you have to be able to look at the innocence of everybody involved. 
and even at yourself, the bad choices you've made, we call them mistakes. No, they're just learning experiences and you were innocent in everything that you you made a mistake. So what? It was a learning experience. I'm going to move on. And if you can start looking at everybody around you as innocent, no matter what part they've played in your life, realizing we're all here, we all came and agreed to exactly every single freaking thing that has happened, we can start forgiving and releasing that heaviness, not replaying it over and over again. We are going to just see the innocence and we're just going to let it go. And we're going to move on. Okay. So that is the magical um, forecast for February from Sapphire Star Codes. I would love to hear if you guys have any thoughts on it or um, if anything pops into your mind um, that can be added to it. So if you do drop a comment and um, I will see you guys next month. I will be um, taking all of this and putting it into a um just like a pdf format so if you want to have it all like close you can just print it off or whatever and you can follow each week and know what's going on you can get that by going to my website www.sapphirestarcodes.com and you can scroll down the page and you can see where you can sign up for my um you can subscribe to my newsletter, which you'll also get my free fairy ebook with. But then I will be sending out each week um, or at the beginning of the month, I will send out the updated forecast so that you can follow it and have it on paper. I also will be sending out just like some magical stuff each week or specials and things like that. I promise not to flood your inbox because I hate my inbox being flooded. So I'll keep it short and to the point. So I am wishing everybody a very, very magical February and just asking that you just move forward and dance with Jaffiel. Bye-bye guys.